Oh, Impy, you are funny. Well, I don't blame Icky for hugging the heater. It's so cold out there. Anyway, everyone doesn't want to hear you telling Icky off. Hurry up. We're live. Say hello. Oh, this is Stacy. You always do it. Hello, everybody. This is Lacey. I hope you've all had a pretty week. Well, don't stop there. <laughs> Come on, what are you going to remember today? But the bird. It's your turn to choose. Oh, is it? Well, I don't know. Nothing special happened this week, really, did it? I'll just pick a day. How about Wednesday? Ah, uh, Wednesday? Well, why that one? Oh, just because. Ready for the magic? Oh, OK. This is very strange, isn't it, Icky? We don't understand it, do we, Icky? And stop pulling those faces, Icky! How many times have I got to tell you? Magic voices fill the air Magic memories take us there Impy, come on, it's time to wake up. Oh, what time is it? Oh, morning, Icky. Morning, Buffy. It's seven o'clock. Come on, Impy, get those feet on the floor, or I'll have to tickle them. No, 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 no,
Now, darling, you know I can't tell you the answer. You have to try and work it out yourself. Oh, but we don't like maths, do we, Iggy? Can't do this one, can we, Iggy? Well, you know what two times seven is, don't you? Yes. And uh, do you know what four times seven is? to do is just add them both together. But we can't! Oh, if you don't shout, you'll wake up. Oh, no. That sounds like Toby again. Look, I'll go and see to him. It's all right, Toby. I'll go and get him. It's all right, Toby. Toby. I'm coming. Now, then, what's all this noise about? What's happening? Mummy! Lacey, darling, it's lesson time. But, Mummy, this is important. Oh, don't miss me. Mummy, Mummy, I'm really told where the day babies come from. Oh, Lacey, you didn't. I didn't mean to, Mummy, but it nearly slipped out and I just stopped it by coughing on my granola. And now Bert wants to know he's always asking me questions about Sparkle Home. Oh, I wish he wouldn't. I know, sweetheart. Mummy, why do the day babies come? Can you explain it to me? Uh, but the little Alfie, he stays with us for always. But we have the day babies and more time all the time. What do they? Snuggle up here by me and I'll try and explain. That's my click. Now, you know that the babies and the little children in Sparkle Home don't have any mummies and daddies. And sad things happen to them once, like they did to you. But they live in that beautiful, happy place until they go to places like Auntie Ellie's or Auntie Sandy's or Auntie Lynn's in America or Auntie Suzanne's in Australia or all kinds of aunties all over the world. And then they have a new mummy and they're happy forever and ever. That's right, mummy, that's right. Light that time to you. That's true. And little Alfie came too. Now, I keep all the day babies if I could, but I wouldn't have anywhere for the wall to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes the day babies go to mummies in the world just for the day so that they can get used to being with people again and get used to having a happy life in the world again. And that's why we have the day babies. Oh, but does that mean that some of them might have new mummies one day? Well, they might, but they love being with me with us and we love being with them. They're happy and that's what's really important. If a new mummy could make Laura or Mandy or anyone really happy, more happy than they are here, then they might have a new mummy one day. Do you mean like Tessie and Ben and the little Leah and Lily that I never know? They had new mummies. That's right. And they're as happy as can be now. Now Come on, Princess. It's still lesser time. You shouldn't be worrying about these things. I'm not worried, Mandy. I, I love the day babies. I do. Nicky loves them too, does It's just that bird. He's getting all annoyed and wanted to know this fin and that fin and where and why and how. I wish he'd stop asking and asking and asking things. Ah, so do I, my precious. So do I. So do I. So do I. Mind you put your gloves on, Princess? It's cold out there. Daddy, my party Daddy. Don't worry. Uh, will it be long, be? Oh, not too long. I've got a few errands to do after I drop her highness off her to her riding lesson. And Bert's given me a list of things to pick up for the day babies. He wants some cow pole for Toby and a few other bits as well. Well, come on, Princess. The car's waiting for Daddy, us. Daddy, I'm ready. Come on, it's all itchy. You're always hanging about. Bye, Mummy. <sighs> Bye, Bee. Mm. Bye, Al. See you soon. Sulela Sahal Nasan Tazen Froze Do From Chen on the top, fear.
Toby. Everything's okay. Hey, big eyes. So Layla. Oh, Elle, I didn't hear you come in. Brian and Lacey safely off, okay? Yes, yeah, sweetie, thanks. Uh, Lacey's all excited about her riding lesson at Nunwen, and Brian's going to pick up the things he wanted. That's good. Do keep your voice low. I was trying to see if I could get Toby to sleep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I heard. I never heard you sing in let before. Well, I hardly ever do. Is it translatable? What does it mean? Oh, you weren't meant to hear it at all. It's just a little bit of nonsense, really. Now, let's talk about something else. Oh, come on, Bert. It's pretty. I don't think I've ever heard him say so many that words in all my life. Please tell me what it means. Oh, well. It roughly means... Lullaby, my darling. Your daddy is here. The pretty stars are watching over you. There's nothing to fear. That's it, isn't it, big eyes? Oh... A question for a question is fair, don't you think? Oh, dear. I suppose so, sweetie, though I think I know what you're going to ask, and I might not be able to answer. Oh, I think you will. And I think you should. Don't you think it's time you told me the truth about Toby? <sighs> Your daddy is here. You knew all along? Not all along. But you must think I'm incredibly stupid if you thought I wouldn't make the connection eventually. No, I don't think you're stupid, and you know full well I don't. To tell you the truth, I was in a really awful position. I didn't know what to do. Of course, I wanted you to know your little son and him, you, but I, I also wanted to spare you more pain. You've been through more than enough. When all this happened, you were still deep in denial. You, you wouldn't even let us mention Toby's mother's name or let us talk about it at all. Teely, L, let's not mince words anymore. I'm a big grown lep. Her name is Teely. So, if I've got this right, when I found out that she'd been using her elf magic to manipulate my mind and feelings, let alone all the awful things she had done to you and Brian and dissolve the marriage, this youngling was on the way and she never told me? That's unlike her for a start. I... I think she had her reasons. Believe me, Bert, you don't want to go here. No, I don't suppose I do. So, what happened when Toby was born? Who named him, by the way? I don't even know what his full name is. I named him. His name is Tiberian Bertalia-san. Tilly wasn't allowed to put him in a pot, like all the other elves do with their own younglings, because he was half left. She had to carry him and give birth to him naturally. Oh, she wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> I dare say not. Bilby, you remember her old boss and mentor and the one who's always been secretly in love with her. He hid her at his house during her repro cycle because, well, she was basically an outcast. She was carrying a, what they call a half, a half leprechaun child. Uh, so he hid her and then when it was her time, he went to your colony and got hold of your sister-in-law, Corrie, who's assistant healer there, and brought her to help with the birth. And then, as soon as he was born, she disowned him. She said he could go to high or low country for all she cared if he didn't want to see him. That figures. Oh, poor little Zuckle. You didn't ask to be born, did you? There. It's all right. I've got you. So... What happened to him? He was brought to me. But I'd have known about it. You certainly wouldn't. It was planned for a day when you were out making a home visit. I named him, and I fed him, and clothed him, and loved him up, and then I contacted Sparkle Home about him, and they came and collected him. And you never told me a word. How could you do that, Elle? Would you even have wanted to hear? You were anti all younglings then. Remember how you were even felt about Lacey? If I told you about Toby then, you'd never have wanted to see or know him at all. How do you know I wouldn't? Oh, come on, Bert. Be honest with yourself. Oh, perhaps you're right. But were you ever going to tell me? Yes, I was. <laughs> Hard thing about not telling people things is that you can never find the right moment to tell them. <laughs> ah, I did actually sound you out about your feelings last year. Do you remember at Lacey's party? Not the best time or the best place, but 
You said you were perfectly happy and didn't ever want to think about that time again, so I left it alone. Well, at least I know now for sure. I've kind of suspected it for a while. At least I can feel that awful time wasn't a complete mess and waste. Something good came out of it. Didn't it, Zahal? Ah, oh, look at those eyes, Al. He looks a bit like me, don't you think? <laughs> yes, he does. Two mad leps under one roof. <laughs> no wonder this house is completely mental. <laughs> He shouted, Ingratitude is a terrible thing! And he flew away. Oh, oh dear Dr. Banks, I love that story so much! I know you do. <laughs> My mouth's nearly worn out with telling it. Come on now, sweetie girl. Snuggle down. Time for the song and then sleep. Snuggle down, Inky. Time for the short and then sleep. And another lovely day tomorrow. With all the little babies. You do love the babies, don't you? Yes, I do mind, but I never mind however many babies we have. <laughs> Lacey loves. Do you like Toby? Yes, I do. He's so, so cute. And he's got pointy ears, just like you. <laughs> I love him a lot, but why? Well, because I was thinking of asking Mummy if he could stay with us for always, like the little Alfie does. But I wouldn't do it without asking you first, because little babies are a lot of work. And because he comes from, well, you know where. He's always going to be little and need a lot of looking after. What did you think about it? I like it, Lindbergh. You would? Really? Wicked! I would like it. Toby's litter and twiet. And he never just twice and twice. Not unless he's not well lep or, or really, really hungry. And I love his pointy ears and his great big eyes. I'd like him to stay with us for always and always and always. Well, don't say anything now. I I'll talk to Mummy and Daddy and see what they say about it. Now, come on. Hands together. Eyes closed. <laughs> Let's finish this lovely day and look forward to lots more, shall we? Yes, my bird. Now, come on, Inky. Hands together. I include you two, Buffy. Now. <clears throat> One evening as, as the, the sun, sun went down, down and the jungle fire was burning, down the road came a pretty maid and, and she said, I'm never turning. I'm going to a land that's far away Beside the crystal fountain Where there's peace and joy for rich girl and boy It's the big rock candy mountain